Black Owl Live, and here we have Melissa Serrano, U31's resident artist. How are you doing tonight, Melissa? Very good. Awesome. So we're just gonna kind of get to know her a little bit and where her art comes from. So how long have you been painting? Actually, it's really interesting. I've been drawing for a really long time, like sketching and all that, but I actually just started painting um, last year about mid-spring and actually taking it seriously, like actually painting portraits and actually getting into it. Yeah. So not a very long time, obviously, but um, I've always drawn and always been like artistically based. I just haven't really taken it super seriously until this point. So what's your creative process in beginning a painting? Um, my creative process basically is pretty simple, as I've learned through trial and error that I cannot paint live. I mean, I can, but it's just, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. So I really have to be in my comfort zone, and right now I really love that I turned my living room into a studio, because I'm at home, I'm around things that inspire me, and I have everything at my fingertips, essentially. Mm -hmm. So that's really where I have to be, just to paint. And then, um, usually what I do is I turn on music or a movie, and then I get to work. And basically, um, I paint on OSB that's been we pasted with paper or some type of media. And then I go from there, I sketch out when I need to, and then I start painting. And what I've learned from uh, just doing so many portraits is I'm a little OCD about this like next step of like the portraiture, is I start with the right eye. If it's like a full face portrait, I start with the right eye, and then I go from the nose to the lips to like the jawline to the neck, back, back and forth a little bit through there to like perfect it, and then I'll go up to the left eye, mm -hmm. and I do it the same time, like every like every time. It's always the same like pattern that I do, and I didn't realize it until like maybe about my like eighth portrait in, and I'm like I'm really doing the exact same thing every time that I do it, and so I find that interesting. But it's a comfort for me. It's almost like reading, you know, you like from left to right. It's like I have to start with that right eye if it's a full face portrait and then do my little like ritual and then I'm yeah. good. So and then I basically once I'm finished with the vital parts, I you know look at it, I expect like I just take time. Sometimes I'll sleep on it, I'll wake up and see if I like I'm happy with the result. And then I will start, you know, adding color to it and, and finishing it off and adding aerosol and stuff. But I mean, really, it really is comes down to that, like, that little U-curve that I do. And once I'm happy with that, I'm good. And then I can go on to the next step. So have you had any commission pieces? Um, I've had people ask. And I found out through my time, like I said, I haven't been painting for very long. Um, but I don't like commission work. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like there's a deadline and there's a client and they have certain expectations. And I like to do things for me and you know what I want to paint. So I've had some um, commission pieces. I particularly now, or well before, I did would take them and I would you know fulfill the work. Now I say no, and whatever I'm showing is what I'm selling. And other than that, um, well you know see me around if you you know here's my information. If you see something in the future that I like, let me know. But um, unless they're a friend or somebody I'm close with, then yes, maybe I'll, I'll do a commission piece for you. But at, the, at this point, it's like, I feel too much that I have these high expectations that I can't fill, maybe, or that I just don't want to as an artist. I think it should come from me fully and yeah. not from somebody else. And again, it's like the worst thing is like you paint something for somebody and you show up and you're like, not what you wanted? Oh, great. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I'd rather just paint what I want to and if somebody loves it and they really want it, then yeah, that's what I can buy. Exactly. Yeah. All right, and this is Melissa. All right, and this is Melissa Serrano over here at U31 for Black Owl Live. Thanks for uh, letting me interview you. Oh, thank you for having me. It was great.